हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इस एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड इंट्रोडक्शन टू ट्रिबल फाइव टाइमर द ट्रिबल फाइव टाइमर कैन प्रोड्यूस एक्यूरेट एंड हाई स्टेबल टाइम डिलेस और ऑसिलेशंस सो द मेजर फंक्शन ऑफ ट्रिबल फाइव टाइमर इज टू प्रोड्यूस एक्यूरेट and high stable time delays or oscillations it consists of three resistors each resistor of 5 kilo ohm hence it is known as triple five timer so the triple five timer consists of three resistors of 5 kilo ohm that's why it is known as triple five timer the major applications of triple five timer are it can be used as mono stable or a stable multi vibrator it can be used as waveform generator it can be used for dc to dc conversion it can be used as voltage regulator and also it can be used as an alarm some of the applications of triple five timer are it can be used as mono stable and a stable multi vibrators so these two topics are there in your syllabus we'll see that in next videos how a triple five timer can be used as mono stable multi vibrator and a stable multi vibrator it can be used as waveform generator it can be used to convert from dc to dc signals it can be used as a voltage regulator and also it can be used as an alarm so these are some of the applications of triple five a timer If you observe the triple five timer, this is the internal block diagram of triple uh, five timer that will be available in the form of an IC, which is having eight pins. So triple five timer is a eight pin IC, and this is the internal diagram of triple five timer. If we observe here, this triple five timer majorly consists of three resistors, two comparators. and one sr flip flop here one comparator is non inverting comparator because input is applied to non inverting terminal of a comparator and another comparator is an inverting comparator because input is applied to the inverting terminal of an comparator now let us understand these components one by one before understanding the working of triple five timer now let us understand these components so which are resistor comparator and flip flop if you consider resistor it consists of three resistors which is connected to vcc and another end is connected to ground so here we have two points let us consider this as a and b across these two points we need to find the voltages so to find the voltages across these two points we can use voltage divider rule if you want to find voltage at point a which is va so resistor value below this point is 5 kilo ohm plus 5 kilo ohm so it will be 10 kilo ohm divided by overall resistances which is 15 kilo ohm multiplied by source voltage so va will be equal to 10 divided by 15 into vcc so it will be equal to 2 by 3 vcc that's why the input voltage at this point is 2 by 3 vcc in the same way we can find the voltage at point b that can be taken as vb so vb will be equal to 5 kilo ohm divided by 15 kilo ohm multiplied by vcc so it will be equal to 1 by 3 vcc so the input voltage at this point will be 1 by 3 vcc that's why in this circuit we have taken at this point it is 2 by 3 vcc and at this point it is 1 by 3 vcc now let us understand the working of comparator so here we are considering inverting comparator since input is applied to inverting terminal so in an inverting comparator if the input voltage is greater than reference voltage output will be equal to minus v saturation and if input voltage is less than reference voltage the 
output will be plus V saturation. So if we say minus V saturation and plus V saturation, since it is operating in open loop configuration, output will be either plus V saturation or minus V saturation. So here in this working, if we say minus V saturation, it will be low voltage and plus V saturation, it will be high voltage. So as per diagram, if we take inverting comparator, here input is 1 by 3 VCC and another input is trigger. So that's why when the trigger voltage is greater than 1 by 3 VCC, output will be low and when the trigger voltage is less than 1 by 3 VCC, output will be high. So that will be the function of inverting comparator. So here we are having non-inverting comparator where the operation of non-inverting comparator will be opposite to this operation which means if the input is greater than 1 by 3 VCC the non-inverting output will be high and if input is less than 1 by 3 VCC the output of non-inverting comparator will be low. Here we are having one more important component which is flip-flop. Here we are considering SR flip-flop. So S is set and R is reset. When the input is applied to set, output will be high. And when input is applied to reset, output will be low. So this is the truth table for SR flip-flop. So when S is 0 and R is 0, there will be no change in the input and when s is 1 and r is 1 this is invalid input so we can't apply both input as high when set is 0 and reset is 1 output will be reset which means output will be low and here we are having one more pin which is q bar that is complement of output so if q is low q bar will be high which is set if set is 1 and reset is 0 at that case output will be set which means q will be high and q bar will be reset which is low so if we understand the working of these three components we can easily understand the working of triple phi timer now let us understand the working of triple phi timer at pin number 2 which is trigger pin if we apply negative input which means the trigger pin input is less than 1 by 3 VCC if input is less than 1 by 3 VCC output will be high so the comparator output will be high if this one is applied to reset output of SR flip-flop will be 0 if Q is 0 Q bar will be 1 hence output will move to high if negative pulse is applied across trigger pulse then trigger input will be less than 1 by 3 VCC hence the comparator output will be high. If the output of comparator is given to reset then output will be reset which means Q will be 0, Q bar will be 1 hence this one will appear across the output which will produce high pulse. Since this 0 is given as input to the transistor, transistor will be off. If threshold voltage is given as high input, which means threshold voltage is greater than 2 by 3 VCC, output of this non-inverting comparator will be high. When this high signal is given as input to set, the output across Q will be 1. The output across Q will be high so if q is high then q bar will be low which is zero so this zero is given as output so we will get the low pulse so at threshold if high signal is applied so threshold will be greater than 2 by 3 vcc since it is a non-inverting comparator the output will be high so this one is given as input to set so that will give output as high since q is equal to 1 q bar will be equal to 0 hence output will be having a low pulse so this process will continue so if we apply negative pulse or low pulse across the trigger the output will be high and if we apply high pulse across threshold 
the output will be low so we will be getting the continuous oscillating signal which will be having high and low pulses now when q is 1 that is applied as input to the transistor hence the transistor will discharge the signal so this discharging operation will understand when we understand the working of triple phi trimer as monostable and a stable multivibrator this is about introduction to triple phi timer hope you have understood the topic thank you